Hirschsprung's disease is a disorder of the enteric nervous system characterized by the absence of ganglion cells in the myenteric and submucosal plexuses of the distal colon, leading to a functional intestinal obstruction. This is thought to be due to abnormal caudal migration of neural crest cells. About 80% of cases are due to an aganglionic rectosigmoid segment. However, rare cases can extend proximally and even involve the entire colon. Neonates present with abdominal distension, bilious emesis, feeding intolerance, and classically, a failure to pass meconium in the first 48 hours of life. 10% of neonates can present with fever, abdominal distension, and diarrhea, secondary to Hirschsprung-associated enterocolitis, which can be life-threatening if unrecognized. For neonates with a clinical picture and radiographic evidence suggesting a distal obstruction, a water-soluble contrast enema is the study of choice. The pathognomonic finding on contrast enema is a transition zone between the normal and aganglionic bowel. Other findings include a reversed rectosigmoid index, where the sigmoid colon is abnormally wider than the rectum due to progressive dilation from a functional obstruction. A rectal suction biopsy demonstrating an absence of ganglion cells is the gold standard for diagnosis. Initial resuscitation is critical in neonates with an intestinal obstruction or enterocolitis. Once stabilized, definitive operation can be done on a semi-elective basis. Neonates are usually maintained on breast milk or elemental formula with rectal stimulation or irrigation. Occasionally, a colostomy is needed for decompression. The goals of treatment are to remove the aganglionic bowel and reconstruct the colon by bringing normally innervated bowel down to the anus while preserving sphincter function. Three of the most well-known procedures are the Swenson, Suave, and Duhamel procedures. The Swenson procedure involves resection of the entire aganglionic colon with an end-to-end -end anastomosis above the anal sphincter performed through a perineal approach after eversion of the aganglionic rectum. The Suave procedure avoids the risk of injury to pelvic structures by performing a submucosal endorectal dissection and placing the pull-through ganglionic segment within a cuff of aganglionic muscle. The Duhamel procedure joins normal colon with the aganglionic rectum to create a new lumen, which is aganglionic anteriorly and normally innervated posteriorly.